First John chapter 2, our sermon will be looking at verses 3 through 6, but I'd like to begin reading back at verse 1. <clears throat> this is the very word of God. Please give it your full attention as it's read to you this evening. My little children, I'm writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we've come to know him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him, but whoever keeps his word in him, truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. Whoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. As we consider this text of scripture together tonight, uh, one of the I don't know if it, how early in your Christian life it hits you, probably hits you, it hits different people at different times or in different ways, but one of the questions that should arise in the Christian life, someone who was uh, born and, and lived in the world in the kingdom of darkness, and then at some point in their life engaged the gospel and was made alive by God's spirit and is now then going to church and, can, and is, is by all 